what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are doing give yourselves a round of applause for coming here for another episode for the duane elliott podcast we'll get right into it man brother Bilal is back on tasha k brother Bilal is back on tasha k for another bombshell interview about will smith and his antics and jada are we here for the smoke or what guys huh I'm here for it. Without further ado, we're going to get into it, guys. We're going to get into it. Let's get it popping. And it's something about this wine cellar room that just makes people just want to spill it all. That's why we got the wine bottles <laughs> upside down. That's the symbolism because it's right, just right. upside down. Right, right, right. How do you feel after your first enter? I mean, your uh, like you did other interviews, right, right. but how do you feel after the interview that you did with us? I mean, they were writing about you in Greek. Yes, in Africa, Zimbabwe, all over the world. Everybody, I had my doctor mm. call me. Wow. I'm call. Well, I called him. Say, hey, call me back because I need to set up an appointment. Okay. He calls me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got your appointment. What's up with this Will Smith stuff? Yes. My doctor's white. Wow. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. So it's been the same reaction on my end because, of course, I live out the country. Yes. So I get people in the restaurant now mm. that's pointing at me, mm. right? I get people coming up to you, can I take a picture with you and so forth. And I'm like, yo, this, this, this has to be from the interview. I, uh, I'm getting calls from people from Saudi Arabia. So Dubai. you have 10 million. Well, actually, just on my platform alone. You have 11 million views just on TikTok, but all the videos that have been shared, it's mm -hmm. over 1 billion so yeah, far. Yeah, they said 1 billion. In prep. My team told me today before we came here that you have over 1 billion impressions, Brother Bilal, and that... Um, it's that's a lot of motherfucking clout. That's well, well, well. It's, see, here's the thing: when you pray to Allah and get on your knees five times a day, which I've been doing consistently mm -hmm. over the last six months, and just praying that the truth come out, right? I'm not praying to people's downfall, but I'm praying that the truth come out. And this is what why I came back. Mm. I came back to give nothing but receipts. People. Yes, we just. We, I just saw some receipts. Yeah, beautiful receipts. Yes. Now, here's the thing, because the, the first interview we did, it was more so how you met Will, things that you kind of witnessed over the years and, you know, the struggle with the relationship, the struggle with the relationship with you and Jada. Of course, with you being a close family colleague, friend, you know, I'm, I'm sure the kids look at you as like uncle. You know, what do they call you? Uncle Bilal? What do they Everybody call just call me Brother Bilal. Brother Bilal. Um, it was it was kind of the unwinding and as you were unwinding 30 years and I'm sure there's so much that you didn't even yes. disclose yes. you know yes. um it, it just it it was just one after another and that's the reason why we had to make it public so soon because you know I didn't want people to start questioning questioning your credibility and things like that mm -hmm. and so it was kind of like we gave them a taste mm -hmm. and then it, it did what it did mm -hmm. and then we gave it to them and no one has come out to question your credibility. They're more mad at you because they felt like you betrayed right. him. Right. But, and I have to say but, because I'm fair in this. Right. Right. When you fuck over your friend mm -hmm. who has put his reputation and career on the line, from what I saw mm -hmm. and from what you, you just showed me before this interview started, and it was something that he asked you to do, mm -hmm. And so to help him to promote his book, mm -hmm. you go to all of these big product companies and you say, hey, Will Smith wants to do product placement. Send me your stuff. They're taking their product that they spend money on to send it to you to create these beautiful, lavish gift boxes that you've done for other celebrities that you many, showed. Many. Cedric the Entertainer, Anthony Anderson, a lot of comedian slash comedic actors. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are big name people right. that you've, you've never had fallen outs with. N never. And we've done big business. And you know, I, I picked your brain to see, not your brain, I wanted to test you because when I was asking you about Jamie Foxx mm -hmm. and others, mm -hmm. I was trying to see because a lot of people will come and sit down and you could kind of tell if they're inauthentic, if they know something about everybody. You right. kept it straight on the Smiths. Right. You kept it straight on the Smiths. Like you was just like, I, I see Jamie with women. 
I seen Jamie with black. And I was like, okay, so this ain't got nothing to do with him trying to gain clout off of every celebrity, trying to ruin his relationship with all the celebrities you've done business with. This is just this particular friend that I've known damn near my whole life and his wife, you feel like is sabotaging everything that y'all have together and it's causing you to question him and his friendship towards you. What what our question? See, so, so here here's the whole thing in a nutshell. Okay. You know, it's no secret in Hollywood that Jada hates me because I have a strong relationship with Will and I do my own thing. Why don't she hate Dwayne? I don't I can't answer that question. Why that, don't she hate Dwayne Martin? Well she she's gonna love anybody that feel that treats her like she's a god. Right. When you're a narcissist and a sociopath like she is, and Mm. I'll get into that, you want to be worshipped. And she got the bag. So these people will worship her thinking that they will that Jada is going to do something for them. But a narcissist and a sociopath is only looking to do things for themselves. Mm. Um, But back to Jamie real quick, Mm -hmm. like even on my Instagram. Right. And, And he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. I have been in Hollywood. I've been doing the music game for a long ass time. And I'm going to tell you guys something, man. Most of these cats out here are narcissistic. Am I right, guys, or what? There are so narcissists. I've never seen a level of narcissism that, I, that I've seen in the music game and the movie game. Let's get back to it. Let's roll. And this is real. So it was a big billionaire business guy from Canada who um, brought a black diamond chain and wanted me to give it to Jamie. And he brought it from me. And uh, he said, just give me a shout out, right? And his guy name is Mike from Canada. So I I go to Jamie's house and I I tell Jamie, hey, I got this chain. He was like, oh, that's nice. I said, can I get it on camera? I said, this guy's paying me 175,000 just for me to give him a shout out that you brought, gave him this chain. Mm -hmm. And he, he said, man, no, that's not, but I do it. I made $175,000 from that video by Jamie doing it. Jamie was like, if somebody going to pay you $175,000 just for me to shout out their name with me, come on. Let's, and then ask for one penny. That's crazy. Am I, that is so, am I right, guys, or what? That's crazy. For real. Just for a chain? Make it make sense. Wow. Let's go. I made $175,000. He was a rabbit or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. He strike me as one of them A-Rap yeah, people. And he's going to show that video to yeah. all of his people. That's 175000 He didn't ask for it. But you can't throw people under the bus like that. You you just can't. With, with Will, it, even everything revol- revolves back to Jada. So let's get into that if we can. Yeah. So, because I do want to say. Okay. For the viewers, because we're going to rewind back. Before we put out the interview, all we put out was a clip yeah. that went ultra viral. Okay, everybody in the world got this clip. It was trending for days on Twitter. Okay, before the interview comes out, what shocked me is Jada is doing her book promotional Mm -hmm. for Worthy. Yes, she goes to the Breakfast Club and she sits down and they ask her about you, but they can't not not ask like it's so huge and to my surprise she answers and then she answers um kind of passive aggressive Mm -hmm. you know and she's like come on come on it's ridiculous (laughs) right you know she real tight body you know like a little boy that swings on monkey bars right 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 and she's like it's ridiculous right looking like the stud that i feel she is right and then she's like, Ooh, that's a shot. That's a shot right there. Whoa. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Don't shoot that little motherfucker no more. But you know what? That's I'm sorry, man. That's just been a going thing in, in, in the industry anyway. Everybody knows that Jada is a stud. Am I right, guys, or what? Huh? Allegedly. Allegedly. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, listen. Listen, it's absolutely not true. And then, you know, Charlemagne, that well, well, why would he say that? Well, it was a shakedown. And he's like, oh, so bravery, extortion? Nah, nah, there's a legal situation. And, you know, that's when she realized 
that she had said too motherfucking much. And they told her to stop. I don't know if you caught that. Rewind the video. She she was like, oh, they ain't say stop. They, they ain't say nothing. They were on the side trying to tell her to stop. But go ahead. I didn't see that. Yeah. You're going to have to put that y in Yeah, there. you're going to, yeah, yeah, Just yeah. slow it down and show yeah. it to me because I know you keep your video. Oh, yeah. I um, Because it's one thing to have your opinion about somebody versus just making up salacious, malicious stories. Mm -hmm. So that's actionable. So we're going to roll with that. Um, But yeah, I, you know. You say, leave it alone. <laughs> Don't go no further. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, no, no. Oh, Nobody oh, said anything. Oh. <laughs> I need your phone. <laughs> and that's my thing. You know how many celebrities I can corrupt. Yeah. I got all kind of pictures, all kind of everything. Oh so if it, it, so let's get back no, to no, the Don't let me give you a job on uh, this yeah, show. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. That Put phone. you back in radio. Yeah, yes, like, absolutely. Give him a fucking mic. Let's yeah, go. Yes. No, but like it, it was shocked because I was like, Jada is talking about suing. Mm -hmm. and she's speaking on this and, and to my surprise Will hasn't said anything and so they did come out and say a rep for Will totally denies the allegations I was like Will does not respond to anything nope he's never this is all Jada because as soon as that that rep statement came out mm -hmm. she goes to sit on the breakfast club to reiterate the same shit that I feel she gave to TMZ yes and so I, I'll say this to you as well. Okay. She also said in that interview that they were doing business. Mm -hmm. Will was not helping me out, right? Yeah. And it's a, a very good interview on this um, channel called Popcorn Planet. Okay. Where a big celebrity lawyer breaks down Jada's interview on The Breakfast Club. Mm. and say, Shout out to Popcorn. You said Popcorn Planet. Planet. Okay, shout out right. to Popcorn Planet. We got to check they, that out. They cannot even sue based on what she did at the Breakfast Club. Had Jada not went to the Breakfast Club, I would have been sued already. And just for the record, I haven't been sued yet. Have you been sued no, by Jada? Nobody's contacted me at all. Okay. So yeah, it looks like you're telling the truth. The other question, the, will, the reason Will responded, the reason why Jada responded, because they know it's true. Will's never responded. Mm -mm. And they responded in less than nine hours. They did. That was a fast response. That was a, because he know what I saw in that dressing room. He know other things that I saw. You said it was murder. It, 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 yes, yes. Dwayne Martin's a serial killer because Will's not the only one. And we're going to get into that later on, too. Since, okay. since now, so basically, Jada's interview did two things. It, it, it makes me now, me and her at war. I'm going to put Will to the side. Will is to the side. Me and Jada, Jada, I, I will say this because I know you're watching. Mm -hmm. I know Karen Tense is watching. Who's Karen Tense? That, that, that is sister. her PR person for yeah. years. Okay. Right? I know they're watching. Jada, you're a bald head liar and you're a drug addict. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, this is wild. <laughs> and look at Tasha Kane's face. Make it make sense. <laughs> What's done in the dark tends to come to light, man. What's done in the dark tends to come to light. Am I right, guys, or what? Huh? Yeah, boy. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're about to get into it. Let's go. Right? Oh, God. You did not sue me. You told the world that you were going to sue me Ooh. as of yet. And you said you're going to do it swiftly. It's been over two weeks. So, Jada, I'm giving you two more weeks okay. to sue me. If you don't sue me, this is what's going to happen. All the sex parties, right? And the people, the men that you hit with dildos, I'm naming names. Ooh <laughs> No way! Make it be. <laughs> this is wow. Let's go. Right, all the all the salacious stuff that you have done and hurt other people. I'm naming names because now what we got to do is we got to force her to say she lied. You you assassinate wow. my character. You say I extort you. Well, extortion is criminal. Like I would be in jail right now. If I tried to extort the Smiths, if this was an extortion plot, see, there's a difference between saying something that's civil. Like I could say different, like she's had various 
um, venereal diseases, right? And I'm saying that Jada has, I'm saying that, right? But I'm going to tell you why she's not going to sue me because she knows it's true, mm. right? Because here's the thing. If you sue me, Jada, soon as you sue me, I'm going to counter sue. And then I'm not filing no demurs. We're going right into discovery. Now in discovery, I get to ask you all the questions mm -hmm. that I need to ask. Number one, if you try to sue me, Jada, I'm a, first I'm going to go about your sexual history, right? That's number one. Then number, because I know the men and women that you've been with, right? Then number two, we're going to talk about these venereal diseases. So now we got to subpoena your medical records, right? Now, you know, the penicillin and all the other stuff that you took. If they can get doctors to send them fake medical records. Uh, listen, let, let me say, even, even if they do do that, you can't fake the prescriptions. You, you know what I'm saying? You can't fake the prescriptions, you know? Then it, it's so many things in discovery that she don't want to come out. I'm going to ask in discovery also about Will and Dwayne. Have you ever seen them intimate together? Touch, kiss, whatever. She, listen, she did all this to make sure to try to scare me but i fear no one but a law jada i'm big listen in two weeks if you don't sue me in two weeks if tasha k will have me i'm back here and i'm dropping evidence jada pinkett smith he is calling you out am i ready guys or what this is yo drop me a comment Hit the like button, subscribe. There's more juice like this coming. Let's go. Period. So you better. So we're gonna get a part three. Me. Oh, it's going to definitely be a part Ooh. three. Wow. It's going to be. It's, I'm calling Jade once again. Jada. This is like Dune and Dune Two and Dune hey. Three or Mad Max. Hey. She looks like she could be a part of Mad Max. Jada, <laughs> you said you were gonna sue me. You said I extorted you. You said as a money shakedown. You said a lot of things about me to get other networks or uh, other podcasters and bloggers scared to for me to come on because they think they're going to be sued well tasha wasn't sued and i wasn't sued so you got two weeks to to issue an apology because me and will situation were about business and i want you to sue if not jada i'm gonna sue you i'm gonna sue you because you know that you're a liar and you know that the things that you said were untrue. Let's get into a little bit more of it. Okay. So, so they were in business with TMZ, period. So TMZ tried to act like I didn't know Will. Not Harvey. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, and let me tell you what happened. You know, I got my phone. Okay. So they were saying, uh, people were saying, oh, this guy, uh, they don't know if he's associated with the Smiths and all that kind of stuff. So I reach out to TMZ. A guy named Brandon calls me back, texts me back from a uh -huh. 310 number. I said, why are y'all reporting that y'all don't know if I'm connected with the Smiths? I can prove that I work for Will. I can prove that me and Will are good friends. If you look at his first album cover, my name is on it. You look at getting jiggy, my name is on it. You look at all of us where the murder scene happened. I'm in an ep episode of all of us with Dwayne Martin. And, and I played a character called Crazy Leroy, right? The first video that Jada directed on Will was called So Fresh with a slick Rick Biz Markey. I'm the feature in there. I'm the guy dancing around, acting all silly. I'm in this stuff. So how can you not say um, I'm in Ali if you go to IMDB and, and it'll show Will's assistant. You know, it'll have my name on there. So uh, my thing is to TMZ, how can you print that you don't know I'm connected to Will? I text them, say, hey, let me show you TMZ that I'm connected to Will. I can send you financial statements. I can send you contract. Well, well we put it in the trailer. That right, you right. But now, now let your listeners go to TMZ um, and, and look at what they wrote about me. It's unaware, like I'm not connected to the Smiths. We don't know if this guy's connected to the Smiths. Then I have the Texas from them saying, I'll send you whatever you need. So now TMZ is compromised. So I can't never believe anything that they say, but I'm, you got to match. I'm fighting a conglomerate. Jada has paid people. I know to say negative things about me. Um, I had a bunch of interviews set up, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they said, B, I can't do it because we may get sued. And I'm like, Jada ain't even suing me. You know, this sounds exactly like what they're doing to President 45. Am I right, guys, or what, huh? <laughs> so crazy. So true, though. It's so true. We'll talk. Man, this is what happens when you dick over people 
that are close to you and cool with you. Am I right, guys, or what? Let's get back to it, man. So that's why my attack is on her now, right? Because at the end of the day, Jada is a bald head lying dope fiend, period. That's what she is. I can verify the right? bald head part. Right, right? And, and and the liar, the whole world knows well, she's yeah. a liar. Yeah, we can verify And let's that. talk about the dope fiend. So Jada has self-admitted to using ecstasy mm -hmm. and other drugs, which are illegal. Who got them drugs for her? Who got the ecstasy that in all these interviews, she, she says she used ecstasy addicted to porn. So you're trying to tell me that's criminal. You're buying or sending someone to buy illegal drugs. But when you got this type of money, ain't nobody coming. You say you addicted to all forms of porn, men, women, bestiality, all this stuff. She said bestiality? Oh, oh God. I didn't know nothing about that. Listen, let me say something to you. Oh, you got to. I know she said she had a sex addiction. No, no. She also that she was addicted to porn. So this is out. This is from her own. Because people see what I do is I'm going to connect the dots with people. So now they can go and see. Oh, yeah. Then also she also claimed to be an alcoholic. Welcome to Hollywood, guys. Am I right or what, man? <laughs> let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hit me up in the comments. I will hit you back. This is juicy, man. This is juicy. Let's go. Okay. Right? So, yeah. So, she said she passed out. I think it was on Nutty Professor or something because she was smoking weed and drinking too much and the drugs. So, this is a dope thing. Her mother was a dope thing. Oh, okay. Right? So, you, we, we got to look at the behavior of the dope thing. Right? This is what we're looking at. So, when you, like, why haven't you sued? Listen, here's my thing. Jada, why haven't you sued? That's all. You told the world that you were going to sue me. You told the world that, you know, bad things about me that I try to shake you down. Why am I not in jail? for? The, if this is the second shakedown, why am I not in jail? But you guys have been in court, though. Yes, we have. So, no, we haven't been to court. So let's explain. Mediation? We have been in mediation through it, lawyers. Even before the interview came out? Yes. Oh, without question. Without question. So she knew that you were going to be doing a possible tell-all. Yes, she knew it. She knew it. She knew it. How far in advance did she know before you started doing your roster? Because so, I think so, Comedy Height was your first interview. Right. So, um, so let me explain to you what. Let, let, let's give the, the the good backstory. So, like I told you, everybody know in Hollywood is no secret. Jada hates me, and I dislike her. Um, Jada had a company called Hey Humans. Okay. Right. She sold soap and some flimsy deodorant and toothpaste that didn't taste good. So J Jada came to me and through her people and said, um, Jada needs you to help her with Hey Humans. I was like, okay, n n no problem. So I go up there, I meet with her manager. They give me all this stuff and ask me, you know, what I got coming up. So I say, hey, I'm doing this celebrities golf classic. I'm doing this gifting suite. They said, put Jada stuff in there. I said, OK, no, no problem. So I said, well, let me look at everything and how I want to do it. I shot a beautiful commercial and I, I'll, and we can put that in this video um, of her product. Right. Um, I put it in the gift boxes. I made give the gift boxes that I did for other celebrities. I included a humans inside of the box. Okay. So they're getting re but wow, this is good. This is great. Right. I said, well, is there any financial compensation? Right. For me doing it from me helping Jada's company. Hey, humans. Is there any financial compensation? Mm -hmm. And the message from Jada was. Um, and, and once again, I hate to curse, but motherfucker, you done been on pri private jets with us. You done ate our food at our house. I'm not giving you shit. So you're extorting me, Jada. You're the extortionist. I can prove on this show. We're going to prove that I was promoting your product. There was no way I got the product. How did I get the high imaging resolutions of your logo? Right. All these things that are necessary for me to put you into these gifting suites and things that I'm creating came from your people. I have the emails to Texas. And when I ask for money, you tell me I ain't getting shit. So you pimping me now. So Oh, this is crazy. Am I right, guys? Or what? Yo. Wow.
to it. Let's get it. So not on you. you I, 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 I hate to cut you off here, mm-hmm. but I hold that thought. I'm I'm going back in time for, you know, August Alcina's family reached out to me. They gave me the drop on the relationship. When he came out and did his interview, matter of fact, before he even did that, he made a song and he blasted Jada for being somewhat of a of a snake. She she's a wicked one. Listen, I'm I'm gonna even gonna take it a step further because I want her to sue me, but everything I'm saying is true. You want her to sue. Oh my god. He wants her to sue him so he can expose her. This is wild. This is crazy. Wow. Drop me a comment, guys. Drop me a comment. Hit the likes. Hit the notification bell. Let's get this thing popping. Jada fucked her son's friend, but that's not the only friend what she friend? fucked. Well, uh, August Alcina was cool with Jaden. How old was Jaden at the time? I'm not sure what their ages were. Because I'm trying to figure out why Jaden wanted to leave his parents at 15 when he said he wanted we, to be we, emancipated. We're going we gonna to get into that in the book. That's okay. the that's see, here's the thing. People was, was saying, B, why are you giving away so much information? I got thirty eight years of information. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like right, right. It's for a, receipts, but I, wow. I just wanted that one. Right, right. Um well I see here's the thing. I just wanna stick to the receipts because and I wanna stick to coming at Jada because okay. I want Jada to try to sue. I want people to see and her to see, I'm not stopping. Right. Like, I know your business. I got pictures. I got videos. I got a lot of stuff, Jada. And at the end of the day, it's coming out and other people are going to get hurt because you want to be a narcissist. You want to come at me. And Islam, you got to come with receipts, period. See, Mm -hmm. here's what people don't understand. I had to talk to the imam about a lot of the things that was said in the interview. I had to present receipts. Uh. Right. When I called um, Charlie Mack, the rat. Uh, and then federal informant, I had to have receipts. When I talked about Charlie, um, what he did to Meek Mills was one of the worst crimes in hip hop history, Mm -hmm. right? It's like I had to produce the receipts, which I have. So now I have permission to talk about things, Okay, right? I can't sit down with the imams and the sheikhs and say, hey, this is my position based on I'm mad at somebody. No, this is a position I have to have receipts so I can have support. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So this this thing is deeper, deeper, deeper. It might sound like it's a hate for Jada when I call her a, a dope thing. Say she had multiple um, uh, venereal diseases, right? And all these, but they're true. And the only way to get them out is for her to sue me or me to sue her, period. But she said she was going to do that. Jada, where's the lawsuit? Where is the lawsuit? Period. That's that's only thing you went to the public saying you were going to sue me. You said I did egregious things, which I didn't do. And two weeks later, you still haven't sued me once again. And, and, and then also, Jada, let's just do a lie detector test. It's very simple. Why don't you and I just do a lie detector test? Right. Or won't you bring back the red table so I can bring all my receipts to the red table? However, you want to do it. Ooh, brother Bilal is bringing the heat. Am I right, guys, or what? It's going hard in the paint, for real. Wow. This is crazy. This is why you don't do bad by people. Am I right, guys, or what? This is why. Right here. Right here. Man, because karma is a biatch. Like, <laughs> let's get a little more. Hit me up in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for your boy. Let's get it rolling. But what you're not going to do is say things about me, pay people, pay press people not to run my story. That's what you're not going to do. I, the truth will be heard. And that's where we, and that's where we are, period. Okay. <clears throat> we got a lot. That was a lot. So okay, we got we, we got the receipts you came and you showed. So legally, what have you guys been arguing about? Was it about the payments that was owed for you promoting Hey Humans and doing the promotional gift boxes for n- you? N- no. I, I I knew that I would not be paid for Hey Humans. I know Jada wasn't moved off that. But what what I did what I did want to come to show today is that I did the work and I haven't been paid. 
So at the end of the day, that speaks for itself. And multiple, uh, Were multiple. Were you doing ordinance. these these deals with them kind of off contract? Because even your word is still a bonding contract. Yes. People don't understand. Right. 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 Th these are your friends for over thirty something right. years. Well, can I just add one thing, yeah, Tasha? Yeah, yeah. Not to cut you off. You're good. It, it, it's it. Yes, your word is your contract, but you have to have elements to show that there was a contract. So by them seeing sending me the Hey Humans logo. Right. By them seeing sending me Hey Humans product and email saying, OK, I'm going to do X, Y, Z with this. Pro it shows that 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 makes the contract. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to hook you up. Right. Mm -hmm. And so forth and so on. There, there has to be elements to prove a uh, what we call a verbal contract. He's but right. Will, Will has always paid you for all the work that you've done. Oh, an, an abundance. And uh, oh, <sighs> it, <sighs> Will has put a significant amount of money in my pocket. That's why this wouldn't have been a problem with the book. When Listen, Jada comes in and say, don't give them nothing. My thing with Will was, and, and even when we're um, on my Instagram with that video where Will say, mm -hmm. you, you in the book, I blew you up. Mm -hmm. We were in the middle of all this stuff, but I'm in it with Jada. I didn't really have time to talk to Will that night. Right. I didn't have time to have that good conversation with Will. But then the slap happened and I didn't want all this stuff to come out doing this. That, this would have crushed him doing the slap. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, mark my words, because I'm, I'm just going to say it. the Will and Jada thing is not over with yet. It is not over with. I seriously think there's a divorce coming down the pipelines. Am I right, guys? Or what? Seriously. <laughs> I really think there's a divorce coming down the pipelines, man. Really. Serious. Crazy. I know. Call me crazy, but it is what it is. I really think there's a divorce going down the pipelines if it hasn't already happened. Let's get to it. Let's go. Jada essentially kept me away from Will, but Will knew what was going on. And I mean, how do you do that? How do you do that? Like, as that shows you that Will married the wrong chick. She's controlling. He married the wrong chick. Am I right, guys, or what, man? Seriously. And she's jealous. Seriously. Completely married to Jezebel. Make it make sense. Like, Jada runs well. Period. Because there's nothing that two friends of 38 years, a little small business deal, right? That might be, what, 100 and something thousand, 190,000, whatever that amount is, right? It's... Two friends can work that out. But when you got your narcissist wife and sociopath wife saying, oh, I'm going to crush him. I'm going to kill him. This is this is criminal. Let's See, that's what I'm talking about. That's this is exactly what I'm talking. When you marry the wrong woman, she will ruin your business, your friends, your whole life. Am I right, guys? Or what? Huh? Seriously. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. So this is what happened. So, um, of course, Charlie Mack, the rat hits me and say, hey, Jada wants and will wants to talk to you. Now, we're going through all this with the mediation, the lawyers, everything. Okay. Right. This is before the interviews. Yeah. Right, this is bef way before the interviews. Right. OK. So I'm I'm at the position like, OK, so this is how I have to talk to Will. I got to get with Charlie Mack, the rat. He's going to have a special phone. Boom. I get with him. He's going to call Will and Jada. They're going to be on the phone. I'm going to have a conversation. So they, so Jada was like, look, they offered me $10,000. That doesn't even cover the cost of the boxes. This is what Jada, this is Jada offering me, right? Um, and this was after the mediation. This is what they offered me. And they started off with 5,000 in the mediation. Then it went to 10 and I left the mediation, right? I'm like, y'all don't need, y'all I'm not even trying to do business. I brought all these boxes to the meet. I, I showed everything that I needed to show that I did on my end as far as our contract was concerned. And there's emails supporting everything. So she said, you're going to take that $10,000. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to take the $10,000. Then she says, well, I'm going to fucking crush you if you don't take the money because if you don't take this money, now you could sue. Now, if I would have took the money at the mediation, it puts me in a position where I can't sue them. So 
Then she was like, uh, I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know who you think you fucking with, but I kill you. This is Jada on the phone. I said, Will, are you going to allow Jada to speak to me this way? He said, you heard what my wife said. That's when I know me and Will weren't friends. That, and he had already been acting shady because of Jada. But I just kept everything joke. Like, I know what he's going through. I know what he's going through. So right then and then, when this lady is crushing my business, right? When this lady is making me work for free and doing all these things to me, you're supposed to be my friend for 38 years. And you can't even say, Jada, just let him be. I wouldn't took no money. Just leave me alone. Right. Well, I ain't got to never talk to you but again. Yeah, she got you tied up in court. With she right. 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 Mediation. Right. right. So it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I'll take the five thousand. Will, you ain't got to never talk to me again. Jada, you ain't never got to talk to me again. You was willing to never talk to Will. Yes, again? because she ha people don't understand. It's just like I'm sweating like she controls this man. Jada controls Will in a way that you. OK. I have to, I have to, you know what? I'm just going to have to agree. I think Will Smith is being tortured, man. It, guys, am I right or what? Will Smith is being to tortured, man. Seriously. And I think he married a real life witch. Make it make sense. I'm just, I'm just being honest, man. I'm being honest with guys. Once again, man, this is proof as to why you have to vet your chick before taking her serious, especially in today's time. This is crazy. Am I right? Give me a, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming in for another episode from the Duan Elliott Podcast. Look, if you want me to come back with another one, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. I keep bringing the heat. I will keep bringing the heat, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for your boy. We are out of here. Peace.